I think Holy, this girl down. is at Wait the junkyard. Very... I know exactly where I'm going. Look, this is it. This is it. Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop! Look. Please, no. Oh, oh that smell. Rachel! Oh. The junkyard when I saw that deer I just had a feeling I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Impossible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. 
I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> that was an unnecessary conversation because we don't have time to be talking to Drunk Warren right now. We really don't. All right. Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? No. Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Do you notice anything unusual about the Vortex Club tonight? Yeah, I noticed they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. I'm glad for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the party. Guess I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Um, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. All right, bet. Let's go inside. Let's go because the dancing is horrifying. <laughs> oh my god, come on. Why want to let me warn her? Hold on. Okay, maybe I have to let it happen first. I don't know. It's not letting me. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay? Okay. I know that Max, Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. Well, let's find Courtney then. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Hey, Courtney. How are you? Max, our guests are arrived fashionably late. <laughs> Say bonsoir to the end of the world. Even though you flaked on my party makeover, you still get special access to the Vortex Club VIP lounge. You better let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye Now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> get it? Hey, Sarah. 
um, do you know that I personally put Max's name on the list? So you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just, uh, oh my God, you're done. And you're off the list permanently. That girl said, oh my God, you're dead. <laughs> that has to be the most funniest dialogue ever. Child stumbling over her words. Uh, 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 uh. All right, let's see. He is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Got a message from Kate. Okay. I know Victoria is next on Nikki's hit list. Victoria, your picture. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry, I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you and me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. This girl got a whole attitude. I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. More than stupid, it's mean, hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend, but I didn't get off on Kate attempting suicide. I'm not evil, Max. I believe you, Victoria, but I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what, I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Look at me, I got the judge of the contest suspended. Yeah, Mr. Jefferson probably won't be choosing my photo. I'm not as talented as I thought. Yes, you are. But we shouldn't have to choose between talent and kindness. I hope. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? I have real friends. I wouldn't want a fake one. You try to act like all shy and humble. You took a picture of me covered in paint. Who do you think set up the paint can to fall? It wasn't Samuel, dumbass. And you trashed my room after, so stop whining. You did that? You bitch. You could have killed me with that fucking can. I almost got that freak Samuel fired. And that would have been bad. You're right, Victoria, for once. You actually think you're better than me. No fucking way. Guess I'll never be a member of the Vortex Club. No, bitch, you won't. We don't care. We don't want to be a member of the Vortex Club, and we're not warning her either. Never mind. It was good talking to you, Victoria, as usual. Eat a dick, Max. You're just jealous of me because I actually do the things you can't. I put my photographs out there while you hide behind your lame retro self. At least tell me where Nathan is. Uh, why do you want to know? Principal Wells wanted to see us Monday. It's no big deal. Then why ask me? I haven't even seen him tonight. Adios. Au revoir. How the hell does she get over there? That's what I want to know. Should I have warned Victoria about Nathan? 
Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Um, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Why the junkyard? Like, y'all need to call the cops now. Y'all know everything. Y'all know the body was there. Y'all know where the bunker is. Like, come on, bro. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. This is some crazy stuff, y'all. Do y'all really think Nathan is here, or is this like a cover-up? And somebody else is using Nathan's phone? So creepy out here. I can't right now. Rachel. This is too much. Rachel. Who is behind this mess, y'all? Like, I don't know. It's been so long since I played this game. Max, when we catch Nathan, you better rewind so I can kill him over Is it his and dad? Over. Look, we can't track Nathan if you're not going to be cool. Max, please hurry. Oh, God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. 
That is crazy. Golly, man. Oh, no. oh my god. Somebody is there, yo. Somebody just stabbed her with some. Chloe, and turn around. Chloe. Look out. What the fuck? Oh my god, y'all. They got Chloe! Y'all! Y'all, they got Chloe. Who is that? It's oh oh. Did I tell y'all, Mr. Jefferson had something to do with it? Did I not? Did I? Did I or did I? Cause I told y'all I had a feeling about that man. Yo, my honey bee game hers. Thank y'all so much for joining me on episode four, chapter four of Life is Strange. It's getting wild. It's getting crazy up in here, y'all. For real. What do y'all think is going to happen next? Let me know in the comments below. And let's continue on.